Hi, my name is Aaron Rothmeyer and I'm a market product manager here at SICK and I'm here to show you an exciting new product, the Multiscan 100. So the Multiscan 100 has a lot of good things going for it, but the biggest four are that it is powerful, it is accurate, it's rugged, and it's super easy to use. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like here with the Multiscan in front of me. Uh, like I said, Multiscan is powerful. Even though it's a small housing, uh, it's got a lot of uh, range built into it and it is a full 360 degree device. So that means that the horizontal field of view is all the way around 360 degrees and it is 65 degree opening angle so it's got a nice wide viewing angle that you can uh, see in the software. Uh, it also has a horizontal layer, we call it the nav layer because it's primarily used for navigation uh, and that horizontal layer has an eighth of a degree angular resolution. Uh, so that's great for positioning if you're using it on a uh, mobile robot and you're trying to figure out where you are, that eighth of a degree is going to lend itself well uh, to trying to figure that out. Um, with all of that data uh, being output, it can output all of that data around 648,000 points per second, uh, which is a lot of data that can be used for a variety of purposes, um, but again, primarily used for localization of a mobile robot. All of the data that's coming out is also quite accurate. Uh, so we have a lot of functions within the multi-scan that are being used to make it uh, as accurate as possible. Primarily multi-echo technology, uh, which is great for outdoor purposes. If you've got dust, rain, snow, anything like that in the environment, uh, it helps to filter out that uh, noise quite a lot. Uh, similarly, the fog filter and the particle filter can also be enabled in the software. Uh, to make sure that any kind of uh, particulates or anything like that in the air aren't causing more noise uh, than has to happen. Uh, all of the data, if we consider all of the functions that we have to help clean up the data, that means that the statistical error is about 20 millimeters or less, which is great uh, for positioning. Uh, those individual measurements are nice and accurate uh, and stable as well. Uh, and it can also, uh, ref uh, can also um, look for reflectors real-time in the environment if you're using reflector-based navigation. Uh, as I can show here in the software, uh, by enabling the reflector mode, uh, all of the data, all the points here turn gray. Those gray points are indicating that they are not reflectors, but you'll also see the two reflectors that I have in the room here light up red right there on the left and on the right to indicate that that is a reflector. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna limit the need for you to uh, work with all of the ranging data, all of those 648,000 points per second, and it's going to reduce it just down to those reflectors, which you can then use to position based off of. So one of the things that's biggest, uh, that, that is the biggest difference uh, between the multi-scan and uh, some other LiDARs out there is that uh, this is a six sensor, which means it is very rugged. It is very robust. Uh, we have designed it in order to handle very nasty outdoor environments, and that's why it is designed to be IP69K and handle an operating temperature range of around minus 30 to plus 50. Uh, additionally, there is a pressure equalization vent on the side so that if you do put it outdoors and that temperature decreases overnight or something, if it's a humid environment, it's not going to inhale a bunch of water and cause issues down the line. So between that and the IP69K rating, it's a great product uh, for outdoor use because it's not gonna have any kind of water ingress issues or any kind of uh, problems with the environment that you're operating in. It can also handle quite a lot of shock and vibration. It's been designed to last, um, whether you're putting it into a uh, you know, indoor environment or outdoors in a, in a rugged environment. It can handle uh, roughly 15 Gs uh, for a single shock or 10 Gs continuous. And even more if you incorporate some type of rubber isolators into the uh, mounting bracket. So it can handle quite a lot of shock and vibration. And then finally, if you do put it outdoors, there's a good chance it's gonna end up getting dirty at some point or another. Uh, it's just bound to happen. Um, sometimes that can cause issues for LiDAR sensors because they are optical devices. But in our case, we have a screen contamination function that basically monitors the cleanliness of its screen and it can just give you an on-off output or an ethernet signal saying that, hey, the screen is dirty, you need to come clean it. And that'll help prevent issues before they become large issues. So, uh, finally, the, uh, the multi-scan is easy to use. Uh, we've designed it to be as uh, easy to use as possible for uh, a 3D LiDAR sensor. We've done a variety of things to help make that happen. Uh, one of the biggest is that we've added field evaluation to the multi-scan. 
What that means is that in the software, we have the ability to create individual fields that will basically tell you the presence or absence of an object. So if I come in here to our SOPUS Air environment, I can create a field evaluation by clicking here and then using this pen to just create an area. In this case, we're creating a volume. And what that looks like now is a, a little area wherein if anything should enter, we can uh, get a digital output just saying that object is there. Uh, that can make in integrating the sensor a whole lot easier than working with a whole bunch of ranging data. Uh, we also, uh, if you do want to work with the ranging data, we support compact and message pack formats, which are a lot more standardized and easier to use uh, than some other formats that are out there. Uh, so that if you want to work with all that ranging data, it's quite easy. And if, if you're using, if you happen to be using the robot operating system, ROS, or Python, we do have code snippets and drivers available in order to make that uh, easier to integrate as well. And then finally, uh, speaking of easy to use, uh, this sensor has a system plug on the bottom. This is connected with two screws, uh, and that system plug can be removed uh, and put onto a new sensor if the uh, original sensor should get damaged. Uh, it can also be rotated 180 degrees to give you different orientation of the uh, connectors. Um, and it can also be used to create custom uh, system plugs as well. If you prefer to have some other connector coming off of the sensor, uh, that can be integrated into that system plug. So everything is stored on there. Uh, if you pull it off and put it onto a different sensor, you retain your IP address, you retain your configuration, everything is still there. So it's nice and easy uh, if some type of damage should occur to the sensor. Uh, so thank you very much for joining me. I'm uh, happy to share more about the multi-scan if you're interested. You can also certainly go to our website for more information. Uh, and please do check us out on social media for more details about this and other products that we're launching now. Thank you.